Hi guys, Nick of Nicktastic Art. Thank you so much for stopping by the art channel this evening. So we're going to do a Dutch pour and we're going to twist the flow. So at least that's my goal. So we'll blow one side up and the other side we're gonna blow down and we're gonna hopefully have it result looking like a twist in the middle of the flow. We're doing this on a very bright background, almost Tiffany color-esque in terms of a, a greenish turquoise and so I hope that uh, this piece turns out exactly as I've got in my mind. We'll see at the end here. Join me on this journey. And here are the dried results. This is just a pretty piece. Um, I like the twist of the flow. I think that worked out fantastic. One thing I would say is that the, I'm not sure about the background color. In theory, it worked in my mind, but I'm not exactly sure. I'll bring you here in for a couple areas. So that section of the flow I just think is very attractive. I like the depth and the darkness of the contrast with the colors. Lots of nice little areas there in the center that just highlight what blend of the colors worked out to be. The little pearl white cells are very cute. Um, the blowout on this side in particular, I think that's very nice. So I'm happy with the piece. Not sure about the background completely. Um, one of the things I do like about it is uh, the way it, the flow kind of twists. That was the goal and I think I accomplished it. Thanks for stopping by everyone. Find your bliss. Okay, as you can see, we've got a 22 by 28 canvas. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it is a large one. And we are going to do a Dutch pour. And I was feeling like some Tiffany blue and Amsterdam makes a color called turquoise green. And this is the color that um, is reminiscent of that Tiffany blue to me. So that's what we're going to start with. We've got um, several colors. Some are custom mixes that I've done and some are not. Um, we've got greenish blue from Amsterdam. Love that color, it's very, very pretty. And this is one of my favorites right now. It's called um, Prussian Blue Thalo. So this is our dark that's gonna be the pop for this. I've got um, a lighter green metallic that is sea green from Arteza combined with a pearl green from Arteza so that it'll give us a little metallic pop. I've also got a thalo green that I added in some pearl cactus green too from Arteza. That thalo green is Soho's brand, um, so that's that color. I've got a glacier blue metallic from Arteza. That's very pretty. And then we're gonna use our Amsterdam pewter. So those are the colors. We're gonna get this canvas laid out. Um, for consistency purposes, this is the Dutch pour, so the, the, it's very thin. It does not mound. It basically goes right in, and that's uh, what you wanna focus on for the Dutch pour to have a thinner consistency than normal. And I did mix this um, within the last hour, so there are gonna be some air bubbles that will need to pop out. But I was gonna spread this with my blow dryer instead of um, with the uh, um, a palette knife or anything like that. It's personal preference which way you'd like to, to spread the paint. Um, I like to do blow dryer because then I can see how much is located where. And I think we're gonna have enough here to get this canvas covered. So I'm gonna blow it out and I have not done, included the blowout portion of a, a base in a, in a video before. So I thought I would do that here. Um, it'll probably be, you know, one of the few times when I do show blowing out the base color. I'm making sure also, um, just if you were curious, my hair dryer does have a low heat setting as well as a um, low, medium, and high, actually for the heat, as well as a low um, and high for the blow. So I'm always blowing on low, but I'm also making sure the heat is on low. So we're going to get this blown out.
So we've got all that covered. Looks good to me. You guys were wondering how my fingers get so dirty, I'm sure. Uh, well, now you know. I, I tend to hit my canvas sides with <laughs> just a little bit of finger work there to make sure everything's going to slide perfectly. I already checked the consistencies on all the paints that we're going to be using to make sure that they were where we wanted them to be. And then I'm going to um, just start the flow and tell you guys what I had in my mind at least. So I'd like this half of the flow to blow down and this half of the flow to blow up. So I'm going to blow out from the center. Um, but in order to do that, I want to have more room for the blow here. So we are going to do a straight kind of line with two curls up at the ends. And I hope that'll make sense once I get started here. So we're going to take this white and kind of go like that. But we're going to do some wispies, I guess would be what I would call them. So the wispies are going to come in this direction because I want them to kind of incorporate up. So there is the white. Now I'm going to go next with the darkest color that I've got, um, which is that Prussian blue phthalo. And we're going to, we're going to add that on both sides here. I think this is going to be a beautiful pop here. Get that incorporated in the middle. Uh, I've got to stick right here in just a moment. Just get the last little bit of this color out. I made this especially for this blow out or Dutch pour. Um, super excited about this color. Okay, now I'm going to do the metallic blue next. And this is the lighter blue. So we're just going to bring this through. and get some little bits on this area that we're going to blow out. And this was the Arteza. And then I'm going to put the other blue down. So what I've just done is alternated a metallic with an opaque, or not exactly opaque, but um, what I'm going to call a solid color, a color without a metallic in it, basically. And just noticed as I did that, that I've got something. Um, that was the blue green from Amsterdam, right here. Not sure what that was. There's the blue green laid down. Now I do have that pewter, which for me is kind of like, you know, not a gold, but the metallic I like to put in a color. Um, so here's the pewter. And we'll just run him in a couple spots. This helps give me cells. Um, and it's not like we're looking for cells in a Dutch pour, but it, it adds a lot of dimension when you've got that pewter in there. Now we're gonna move to the greens. And I'm gonna go with the darkest green. So this um, is that phthalo green, but it also has the metallic in it, mixed in it as well. A little bit here and up here. I think that's going to be really pretty contrast. We can always add color if we feel like we don't have enough color, uh, but you can't take color away. And since I mixed all these to be the right consistency, that's why I've got the little cups uh, because my my normal consistency is a little bit um, thicker than what I use for Dutch pour. We're going to go with the lighter of the greens. And that is again another metallic. So we're going to put that right here in the center. Bring that over here on the side and up here. Won't make you sit through me trying to shake out the rest of this paint. And then I'm going to hit it again with the white. 
because I'd really like to bring kind of a separation between some of these colors. So we're going to go white, 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 white. I think this is going to blow out beautifully. So we're going to get started here. Again, I'm going to come from the center and blow this side down and blow this side up. So I'm trying to make a twist. We'll see if this works. Okay, interesting. So I definitely see some areas I want to focus on blowing out and uh, in order to have kind of that focused blow, I am going to get one of my straws. So I've got my little bamboo straw here that's going to help me do kind of a separation of some areas here. I wanted to define that a little bit more. So it got a little muddy at the bottom section here. Um, I am going to torch it again. I definitely got some color underneath there I can see coming out. I do like what happened, um, but I think that, uh, I've got a little bit of a solid line there. Um, yeah, I, I, I like a lot of what's going on here, but I've got a pewter section here that I've got to get out of. So sometimes it's hard to reach it when it's in the middle of the canvas. And you're like, ah, oh, I want to get to that. Holding in my... Um, artist schmuck so I don't get in my schmuck in the paint here. I need to get over to that middle, and I don't know if I can without a step stool. Hmm. All right, let me work on that. Um, I'll bring you guys, well, I guess I'm putting the dried results in the front of it, the video now. Oh yeah, see, that's exactly what I was talking about. I've got a nice line right across the front of my, <laughs> nice turquoise line right there where I leaned it. Uh, so I'm just going to focus on just a couple areas right here where I see that I want to get the more integrated and um, Hopefully you've already seen the dried results at the beginning